Merry Christmas. We are so happy to spend a few moments with you today around our Christmas tree as we pause to celebrate this amazing thing that has happened, the strange and inexplicable intervention into human history of a human baby, the birth of a baby, who is also the great almighty God of the universe, come to show us how much he loves us, to save us from ourselves. It is really good news that we celebrate today. Today is an opportunity to quiet ourselves, to see the star, to rejoice with the shepherds and the wise men, to contemplate, like Mary did, the amazing rescue mission of our God who came to earth 2,000 years ago and comes again today in our hearts. So we invite you to pour yourself a cup of hot cocoa, make sure you're warm and comfy, and join us as we read the original Christmas story through its original source text in the Bible, as we sing some Christmas carols to together, and as we remember what our loving God has done for us. Merry Christmas. From Isaiah 9, the people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestors, David, for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen. Joy to the world, the Lord is Joy, 
unspeakable joy and overflowing well no tongue can tell joy unspeakable joy it rises in my soul never lets me go This is a reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verses 18 to 23. This is how Jesus, the Messiah, was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her fiancé, was a good man and did not want to disgrace her publicly so he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Our scripture reading is from Luke chapter 2, verses 22 through 32. When it was time for their purification offering, as required by the law of Moses after the birth of a child, his parents took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. At that time, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was righteous and devout and was eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him and had revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. That day, the Spirit led him to the temple. So when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord as the law required, Simeon was there. He took the child in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace as you have promised. I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. He is a light to reveal God to the nations, and he is the glory of your people, Israel.
This is what it says in Matthew 2. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his stars as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah, for a ruler will come from you will be the shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. And he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. After this interview, the wise men went their way and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching, or silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. Sent us salvation. 
Thank you for celebrating with us today. We wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And we would like to leave you with this Christmas blessing that was written by John Chrysostom, one of the early church fathers in the fourth century. On this day of Christmas, the word of God, being truly God, appeared in the form of a human baby and turned all adoration to himself and away from competing claims for our attention. To him then, who through the forest of lies has beaten a clear path for us to Christ, to the Father, and to the Holy Spirit, we offer all praise now on this Christmas day and forever. Amen. Merry Christmas.